Right, okay, so I'm going to be assembling my electric bike today. I've already got the battery uh, bracket on here. Um, I've actually mounted this in four places. Uh, there was two screws here for bottle cage, um, and I've uh, drilled and tapped another two screws there, so it's a lot more secure, so it's not going to go anywhere. So, first thing to do is we've got to get this tire off here and put it onto the new electric bike wheel. So this here, which is for the controller, I have a I do have a box coming to replace this, which will fit in here. So I was going to cable tie me cable which goes to the motor, to the uh, bag. So there's the uh, tiny 250 watt controller. Uh, I think the 500 watt one, what I got, is about three times the size of this. And it's pretty simple, it's just all plugs. Uh, Pretty easy to connect up, they're all colour coded. The throttle control on the back here has got a little grub screw that you need to undo before it will fit onto the bars. And that will just slide on. And then the grub screw will bite into the handlebars when you tighten it down and hold the grip in place and the throttle. So now all we've got to do is just run the and route the cable around, leaving obviously enough slack for steering so you don't pull the cable. So to make it tidier, what I've done is, is I've actually nicked a little hole in the bottom here so we can run the cables through there. And I'm going to get some uh, adapters to adapt these brake levers here into emergency stop uh, levers. So to put the cadence sensor on or the pedal assist sensor, so the actual sensor here it's going to go on here. This is a old um, bottom back, bottom bracket locking ring. You can just put that on there. It's a shame the kits don't actually come with these. This came off. So when you've got this on, you then need to put the magnet disc on, and it needs to go the right way. It's got arrows on there, so the way you pedal, the arrows should point. And then that just pushes over. Just like that. Now you may need to adjust 
the actual sensor bracket and possibly bend it a little bit to get it close enough because if you don't get it close enough it won't sense it won't sense the magnets going by and then put your crank arm back on So now if I spin the crank, the wheel should start, hopefully. There we go. And then when you stop this, it will take a while to cut out. That's why it's best to have, have the uh, brake levers on there if you can. That's why I'm going to try to fit the... Uh, see if I can get an adapter to fit these brakes. So here it is, all complete, and it turned out pretty well. The only thing I forgot to install was the uh, parameter to test the capacity of the battery. Uh, so I'll have to do that in a different video. Yeah, so overall it took around about two hours to complete the actual electric conversion. So, I mean, pretty much anybody could do this. It's, it's just plug and play, really. Uh, the most you probably have to do is to put some crimps on, some wires, if you have to. But, uh, like I said, if you buy one of those uh, controller boxes, which will fit in here, the cables would be a lot closer to the battery, and then you wouldn't have to actually do any connections whatsoever. You'd ha just have to uh, seal the connections with some um, self-fusing tape just to make it weather resistant. But yeah, overall it's worked out pretty well. And uh, on the LCD display here, I kind of wish it just had the voltage on there, it'd be a lot better. It just says LD4. So here I'm using a combination of the pedal assist and the throttle. It's a bit slow off the mark compared to my 500 watt motor but it's still pretty good once it gets up to speed. Right, so I think that's about it. The next video I'll be doing uh, is a distance test, see how far it will go, and also top speed. So yeah, uh, please make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon and you'll be notified uh, when that video comes out. So yeah, thanks very much for watching and take care everybody. Bye.